Hello pumpkins! If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't, please do subscribe because when I reach 3,000 subscribers, I am giving away this gorgeous shawl. It is warm, it is snuggly, it is blessed by me, and I'm hoping that um, I can give this away soon. So please do subscribe so I can reach 3,000 subscribers. Happy International Women's Day or belated International Women's Day. I did want to get this video out on Monday, but life happened and I wasn't able to, so here it is today. These are my top five favorite female subscribers, and then there is one mentioned at the end, which is a bit of a, uh, a bonus that a lot of people have asked me about. I did reach out to uh, most of the people on this list and ask them which pronouns they prefer, whether um, uh, she, her, or they, them. Uh, most got back to me. And uh, those who preferred they, them, I asked if they were okay being included on a list of women and they were just fine with that. If their Twitter had, you know, she, her, I just went with that. Um, so if I do mess up gender pronouns, I do apologize. I am doing my best. Um, my good friend who's trans told me that if I, uh, if I mess up somebody's ge gender, just to take a breath, correct myself and keep going and not make a big deal about it. So uh, getting to my list. The first on my list is Funny <laughs> Fundy Fridays. This is always such a treat when uh, this creator posts. So uh, the creator, Jen, uh, I am going to use they because I'm referring to both Jen and her partner. Uh, it is Jen's channel. She does uh, go by uh, she, her. However, her partner, James, is kind of a guest star on the channel quite a bit. Most of my subscribers found me because I was covering the whole without a crystal ball fiasco and without a crystal ball does cover religious fundamentalism, um, but not in a way with integrity. However, Fundy Fridays is a great replacement. So if you're looking to get your fix on religious fundamental tea and gossip, um, Fundy Fridays is an excellent alternative. Um, they post uh, every other Friday, and it's typically a deep dive on one section of religious fundamentalism or one family or one pastor. And I am incredibly impressed with the level of integrity and the level of research that goes into these videos. There is just the perfect mix of integrity and sensitivity and sass and humor. Um, if I can give some examples of sensitivity, um, when the uh, FLDS was covered, the focus wasn't on trying to shame uh, the women who were born into this community and raised their children uh, back to back with not knowing any other life. The focus was really on um, the powerful men who were um, forcing these women into this situation. Uh, same with um, when she covered the Rodriguez family, which she's done twice now, um, the second video said, hey, let's not uh, maybe condemn Joe Rodriguez for not feeding her kids because we know that this family does struggle financially and there's a lot of kids and maybe they just can't afford to. But then there's the sass put in. Um, some of this is uh, courtesy of James, her partner. Um, there is a pastor who, oh, he's passed away now, but uh, the, the estate is uh, very um, strike happy when it comes to copyright infringement of the YouTube channel. And this pastor has all this over the top behavior and this wild gray hair and uh, will like, you know, have manic whiteboard drawing sessions and berate um, parishioners for not donating enough money. And because they didn't want to get involved with copyright issues, um, Jen's partner, James, put on a gray wig and acted out the, um, the YouTube videos of this pastor being over the top. Um, there was another video of uh, Joe Rodriguez that was done for Halloween two years ago that was um, using the metaphor of an old lady with 10 children who lives in the woods and feeds them a pink potion. And it was Oh my God, so funny. Um, so yes, they, they do post once every two weeks. Um, I know that James was just about done his master's kind of last time I checked in with him. So I'm not sure if he's finished now. Um, and Jen was working in the uh, hospitality industry. 
she did post recently that it was her last day as a working stiff so my fingers and toes are all crossed um and i'm knocking on faux wood finishes that they're actually going to do um uh weekly sometimes they release like late late thursday night and i will stay up and it's one o'clock in the morning and watch their videos i get so excited when funny fridays post um she refers to her followers as genonites which is hilarious um, so yes, if you are um, interested in uh, fundamentalism and cults, absolutely do follow Fundy Fridays. Um, one thing that I would like to say is that they have kind of inspired me to change, well, at least think about changing uh, my upload schedule. So I've been around with this channel since they were, since they celebrated their 1000 subscriber count. And they post every other week and their channel in the past past few months has just exploded and now it's at um 107,000 subscribers as of today and um i've seen other channels who post you know three four times a day on the same subject and it seems that um fundy fridays grows just as fast if not faster having quality content put out uh less frequently but on a regular schedule so um i have been re recently trying to put out um like a video a day but maybe i don't need to maybe if i want my channel to grow i just need really good quality content on a regular schedule um you know once a week once every other week and my channel would grow just as fast uh jen sometimes will talk about the fundamentalism while she puts on her makeup and as i said like makeup really isn't my thing um so i uh I'm less interested in the makeup and more interested in the research. Uh, and the research is top notch. You can really tell that um, Jen puts a lot of work into this. And you can also tell that with James working in social work that uh, there is that sensitivity put towards the, uh, the videos um, and the research that's done. Uh, though I think that if Jen is going to uh, continue to um, apply makeup while she does her videos i would love to see affiliate links for the makeup that she uses because um why not make more money at it um i yeah i don't own a palette and everybody talks about palettes and i have no idea what to go for and sometimes i like the colors that she's using so yeah um having an affiliate link would be a great idea for that channel i think um yes i think that's all i have to say about fundy friday so the next one uh jesse gender Love, love, love Jesse Gender. Um, I am a big nerd, as everybody knows, and Star Trek was my uh, was my like safe and happy place, especially next gen when I was growing up. Um, and since then, um, there, there's now a new generation of Star Trek, a next next generation with um, Discovery and um, Picard, and there's um, Lower Decks and a new series coming out, and Orville. Whether or not you include that. Um, so Jesse Gender covers Star Trek and other uh, areas of um, sci-fi in her videos and are just, yeah, uh, very, very well done. She also does provide some thoughtful commentary on issues that are going on in the world. Um, Jesse is a trans woman and she um, uh, talks about her experiences of being trans, her experiences with um, her feelings about uh, J.K. Rowling and um, uh, how gender diversity is dealt with in the context of, uh, of science fiction and pop culture. So I really, really do enjoy her channels. I love her t-shirts. Um, I think the same thing as I said with um, uh, Fundy Fridays, I'd love if Jesse um, was able to find some affiliate links for those t-shirts because I would totally buy them and I would totally wear them because I'm a big geek just like she is. Uh, next channel I want to talk about is uh, Crappy Childhood Fairy. So this is a new one that I recently found. Uh, I talk a fair bit about my autism on my channel, but I don't really talk about some of the other things that are going on with me. Um, I also have uh, a diagnosis called um, Adult Reactive Attachment Disorder, um, and I don't want to get into too much of childhood stuff, but um, it's it's a thing with me, and I have issues with relating to people and especially in dating that um, are related to uh, 
Adult Reactive Attachment Disorder, or ARAD. And she talks a lot about um, childhood PTSD, which I don't think that um, I would qualify as, but um, there's certainly a lot of crossover between the two, and there's a lot of crossover between autism and ARAD. So um, watching child Crappy Childhood Fairy makes me feel like I'm not broken and identifies a lot of the issues that I struggle with, um, especially in terms of dating and uh, uh, and um, emotional dysregulation. So I really want to give Crappy Childhood Fairy a uh, shout out. And if you did have a crappy childhood, maybe you should check out Crappy Childhood Fairy and uh, she can um, uh, give you some tools to work through um, perhaps some of the issues that you're struggling with. Uh, there is a tie for fifth place because I couldn't choose between these two. So talking about uh, Crappy Childhood Fairy who talks about um, childhood PTSD um, or ARAD and Yosemite Sam talks about childhood autism so or late diagnosis autism. So um, she is a woman in her early 40s, I believe, or late 30s. So she's about the same age as I am. And she was diagnosed with autism later in life, just as I was. So she is a low support autistic. Um, she is currently expecting her first child. Congratulations, Sam. Um, actually, I didn't reach out to Sam about gender pronouns. So I hope you're okay with uh, she, her. Um, if not, I will put out a correction in comments or in the description. Uh, so you, Sam, D. Sam talks about a lot of her experiences that didn't make sense when she was a child and now as an adult make a lot of sense and she as well realizes that she's not broken she's autistic and that these are challenges for her to work through and she can really share um how we can um live our best autistic lives and um she gives a lot of uh personal details but also a lot of uh scientific details about research that's uh that's out and about and the tie with that is Illuminati. Um, Illuminati gives uh, a lot of um, information about anti-MLMs, and I, um, I really am staunchly anti-MLM, as I've mentioned a few times in on my channel. Um, she does deep dives also into other companies that are a little on the shady side. Um, so she talks a lot about um, She's a, a series called Corporate Casket, where she talks about uh, companies that really need to not necessarily be canceled, but need to not be supported and awareness needs to uh, be distributed about these companies. Uh, and as well, um, does deep, deep dives into MLMs and gets really nitty gritty into the figures of how much these um, uh, distributors or associates or reps are making and the history of the companies, the, the lawsuits that they've gone into. Uh, I really also appreciate her editing. I think that um, Illuminati's editing is um, is excellent. She doesn't use her face. She uses a, um, uh, a, a character wearing a sweatshirt with a triangle pyramid on her head. Um, and it's, it's incredibly well done. Uh, she's mentioned the software that she uses um, and I um, have downloaded the free version of that software. However, I'm still really nervous about learning to edit. So everything I do is still in one take. This is my seventh take today because Amber alert on my phone and the dog and everything going on and me making mistakes. So um, yes, uh, Illuminati is inspiring me to, uh, to do some editing on the software that she uses. Uh, Savvy Writes Books is next on the list. Savvy also does a lot of anti-MLM stuff, and she also does deep dives into business gurus and some of the problematic behaviors with a lot of the business gurus. Uh, right now, she's um, doing a series where she picks a business guru and does their morning routine or daily routine for a week and is kind of vlogging that process. So, um, yeah, Tony Robbins has the cold showers and um, Grant Cardone is um, Grant Cardone. And uh, so she <laughs> uh, really, um, yeah, it does, uh, does a great job. And again, pardon me, she prefers they instead of she. Um, I do apologize. I'm just going to keep going. So um, uh, Savvy also discusses um, being a small business owner and what it really takes to be a small business owner. They were um, struggling as a small business owner when they first started as to how to grow your business and not have it be all about these, um, you know, fridge magnet 
memes or whatever of positive quotes that she actually or that they actually wanted to know about things like um you know how to crowdsource how to find a good publisher how to savvy writes books is a publisher or is a uh, is an author obviously um how to uh you know, grow social media so all of these things that they really wanted to know couldn't find access to so uh, they do work very hard and um, as being an author and having uh, published several books they also um, have a uh, an interesting charity called um, forever friends and it's f-u-r so i will leave a link to all these channels and forever friends in the description and forever friends um there is a uh a textile artist who makes um, stuffies of actual rescue dogs and then Savvy writes the book of the story of that rescue dog. And so it is um, a wonderful way to encourage people to uh, rescue. Uh, although, yes, I know that Merlin is not a rescue. My last dog was a rescue. My next dog will be a rescue. But um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so encourage people to uh, to rescue dogs and uh, also encourage literacy with uh, children because these are children bo children's books um, and uh, support um, artists and support uh, small businesses. So Savvy Writes Books is um, is definitely on my list. They refer to themselves as your um, uh, your gay aunt 